What's up, nail crew? It is Nicole, your fellow DIY nail obsessed friend. And today I am so excited for the video we're doing. I am gonna be reviewing and showing you how to do a mani with bubble gel products. Now, this is a newer company to me. They opened in 2020, and this is the first time that I have tried their products. And I'm just gonna say it right off the bat. I was blown away. I thought they were just gonna send me their super gel polish four in one, these little like cute cream gels. And when I opened up the package, I got way more and I'm so excited because the quality of the products was fabulous. Everything is nine free, which is great for somebody like me. I really try to avoid HEMA, except when I'm doing gel nail art, like on top of something. So knowing that I can use these directly on my nails makes me feel a lot better when I'm using them. Look at all the cute stuff that came in the bag like this <laughs> I'm not perfect but my nails are like clearly clearly I am obsessed with this bag and I've already been carrying it out around I did this mani about I want to say like a week or two ago from the time I'm recording um I meant to record earlier or I meant to do my voiceover earlier but I got sick and I still kind of am my kids were sick so <laughs> it took a lot longer for me to do this review than I thought it was going to now look at these cream colors okay I have tried I want to say at this point I've tried this is my fourth or fifth fourth or fifth cream like trying these cream gels i've seen people recommend certain ones and like i tried them and thought they were streaky and so when i tried these i was you guys are gonna see what's gonna happen like you will be in shock they don't streak at all sorry and my words are all tongue-tied today I was just, I could not believe how they did not streak. It was unbelievable. It, they have everything that you need to do your nails. So I started off by, my nails are really short and I have a tiny bit of builder gel on and I left that underneath. So that would be the base for what the full cover tips would stick to. For me, my nails just, I don't know, like they have a weird shape. So whenever I do full cover tips, I have to have something as a base. I can't just put the full cover tip down to my nail and then get it to stick with like the extend gel or whatever kind of thing I'm whatever the gel I'm using the sizing was really easy and I have to say these tips have been my favorite I've ever tried I've tried a couple different brands and um, I've struggled with a lot of them I've I've made that clear in certain like nail groups on Facebook that I'm in like I've really really struggled these go on so easy first of all all of the tips are already pre-etched so you don't have to spend all that time pre-etching your tips which to me when i'm doing my nails at night and i'm tired and i've like been working taking care of kids all day like that's a huge game changer first to have pre-etched tips then add on top of that that the back near the cuticle slopes down so i didn't have to go and file down the back of the tip like i've had to with a lot of others that's just another huge time saver for me like so so happy that I didn't have to do that as well these fit my nails so nicely I like to try when I first try a set of tips I like to try them exactly how they are I don't file the sides or anything just to see how they truly lay without messing them without messing around with them at all and I was so impressed and look at this cute little look cute little lamp that comes with it the lamp is great um, to flash carry your nails which I did to all of all of my nails as I was putting on a little bit of the peely base. I've never tried a gel peel base before and I really liked it. It worked really well for me. It was fun to have, I don't know, it was just different. Like I've only ever used the regular air dry peel bases. So that was kind of nice to know like, oh, this is already dry. I don't have to do anything else. So I put that down and use that kind of as my base instead of doing another layer of the gel base or doing another layer of the extend gel. So I use the extend gel to apply all the tips and look at how easy they went on. Like I really could not believe it. So all I had to do here was I, the gel didn't squirt out so it's thick enough their extend gel that it doesn't like majorly squirt out of your nails as long as you put an appropriate amount on and i felt like i was able to control it really well so all i had to do was go around my cuticles with the e-file and just clean them up and make sure everything was sealed in nicely i'm using a new drill bit that i got the panna five in one carbide medium grip bit and i really love it it worked so well to seal in on my cuticles and get off any excess of the gel that came out of my nails after doing full cover tips a bunch of times this was the least amount of ex of gel that came out of my full cover tip so that's another way i know like this is a great product another upside to these being pre-etched you do not have to 
rough up, rough up the top of these tips to apply gel to them. The gel sticks out roughing them up, which to me, again, another really huge time saver for somebody like me who frankly does not want to take the time to etch the, to rough up the top of the tips. And when you're using these gels, there's a couple things that you want to do. You want to first start with a layer of the gel base over your entire nail because it lays easier. The gels lay much nicer. And the other thing that you want to do is you want to prime the brush. So you take a little bit of the gel base, put it on a nail art palette, or if you don't have a nail art palette, you can also use a plastic baggie, some cling wrap, anything that's plastic like that. And then you take a little bit of the gel base and kind of wipe the brush through it like you saw me do just a minute ago before before I started applying the the gels look at these gels look how creamy they are like when I tried using other ones they were not this creamy and they were so streaky these just melt this gel is like butter on your nails literally it's like butter like it just melts into each other and somehow self levels that it looks like you're using regular gels and it takes up so little room which was something else that is super huge to me because uh, I have a lot of nail supplies, not gonna lie. I think I've said that before. Um, I'm kind of in denial about how many dips I have. I'm pretty sure at this point it's like definitely over 900, maybe a thousand. I don't know, I like to pretend like I don't know. <laughs> and then I have a ton of gel stuff too, but I've really backed off buying gel stuff because I don't have anywhere to store it. But these little, like I call them like little, they're like, they look like little eyeshadow palette things to me, little eyeshadow container. That is so small and so compact and you don't need a lot of this. That was something else that really impressed me. I did not need a lot of the gel polish to really pick up the color and get a great color payout. That's something that's super impressive because I've noticed with a lot of these creamy gels, you need to use a ton of product to get a good color payout. Like I barely had any on this burnt reddish, orangish, brownish, I don't know what color. Um, <laughs> I don't know the official like I'm terrible at how to name colors look at how beautiful it went on and it I'm barely using any and the color payout is amazing like I probably am gonna sound like a broken record through this whole thing but I am just I was so blown away when I was using them there was not streaking and it just blended in so beautifully and leveled out and this was one layer on my nails of a dark color so that goes to tell you a lot about the quality but I did two layers for all of them just so like that make sure they're fully opaque you know I was gonna be wearing these for a while and then I'm also gonna be using them for nail art which I it was so much easier to doing nail art with these gels because I didn't have like any type of running. Something else that I really liked about it was it was really easy to get a clean cuticle line. So if you're somebody who's new and you're not that great with gels, it was much easier to get a clean cuticle line because one, because of how the brush is nice and curved and you can apply these thinly and the gel doesn't move around. So the gel literally just goes where you place it. I'm in full fall mode here. So obviously I had to go with the pumpkin patch collection since it was these gorgeous fall colors and really all I'm doing right now is fall and Halloween since it's mid-October as I'm filming this I will be probably doing fall nails until Thanksgiving and then literally as soon as Thanksgiving hits I'll be in I'll be like hardcore doing Christmas nails that's gonna be next ah uh, maybe I'll sneak in a couple Christmas ones before Thanksgiving I don't know I get excited for like whatever holiday for whatever season I just like doing so many different nail <laughs> using so many different nail products I get excited and just jump into the next thing like right away and then I wanted to make sure I added some fun nail art in nail art has kind of been like the bane of my existence since I started dipping and then I started trying to do something other than just dipping I tried to do nail art I started by like first doing ombres with dip powder then I went into trying to do designs with gel and it didn't go so well like I have zero artistic skills my art skills consist of like barely being able to draw stick figures so for me to be doing like squiggly lines on my nails this is seriously some stepped up stuff for me because normally I like can barely draw a stick figure and you know my kids will be like oh we'll, we'll just draw stuff ourselves. we don't we don't need your help mom <laughs> like okay <laughs> So these brushes made it really easy for me. You know, I am, even after dipping and doing my nails for three years, I'm still really self-conscious about my gel, my gel nail art especially. Part of the other reason why like stamping has worked out better for me than gel art 
these gels made it so much easier because they didn't move as much and that's where I was struggling and until I used these gels and used these bubble gels and this Manny a couple weeks ago then I was like oh my gosh this is part of what I was missing I need gels that are much like that don't run like a normal gel and that I won't mess up as easily and since the gels are sticky I didn't apply a gel base again over the color I just went right in with the gel top the gel top was really beautiful it was really shiny that was impressive too I always like if I'm using a gels it better be crazy shiny because I can get dip liquids really shiny so the gels they certainly better be shiny if you're enjoying this gel nail art check out this next minute to see how I did more easy gel art and thanks so much for joining me today nail crew